ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of the woozel death so um today i wanted to do something else so today it's not a um flying stream today it's a modeling stream a death stream should say so yeah, I thought instead of recording another YouTube video about um, Microsoft Flight Sim and modeling and whatever, maybe this video could help some peeps to also get going and things like that. So I might upload this on YouTube later. So uh, if you're watching on YouTube right now, hello, Yotaup. So let's do some stuffs here, right? Shall we? So um, I think we'll do some upgrades to the CJ4 cabin today. So as you might know, I have um, worked on some um, upgrades on my cabin by putting some additional um, yeah, passengers in it. So adding stuff to the cabin like passengers and champagne glasses and stuff. And of course my play by piggy and my Eugene co-pilot. Here and there with uh, some little animations, nothing huge, but yeah, just to get the basic idea of it, right? Could help, could help. All right, so then let's get going and um, let's see what we can do. And um, maybe do some fancy stuff to, to our cabin, right? So let's go ahead and maybe we could start off with Blender. So then I can show you my setup a little bit and what I have done so far though. So let's go ahead, let me open up just Blender and then I think we'll go from there. Just give me a sec here. Just check in here real quick. All right. All right, so I think that's good. So let's um, change over to the modeling. And here we go. Open up Blender. So I'm currently using, I believe it's 2.901. Uh, let me see though. System info. What do you could do the display? Let me open up Blender once again, just to show you which version I'm using. I've not upgraded, uh, so it's 2.9 or 2.0 that I'm using. Okay, well. <clears throat> so Blender 3.0 uh, is out, but I haven't really messed uh, with an upgrade just yet. So I'm just using 2.9 or 2. It works fine for me. Um, yeah, so I'm using that at the moment, which is okay. Might upgrade at a later point in time, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and let me show you. Maybe we could start off here with um, with my passengers, though. So what I basically did is I um, imported. So I'm using two um, add-ons for uh, for Blender. So one of them is I think also uh, mentioned in my um, first tutorial I did on YouTube regarding importing models into Blender. So GLTF models from Microsoft Flight Sim. So I'm using here the default. Um, yeah, cabin of the CJ4, like it is. So you can import that with one of the import um, add-ons. And um, yeah, that's just what I did, right? I stripped down everything from the interior except of the cabin itself. So I have here interior stock uh, collection. It's just the, the, the stock mesh, right, of the interior. So I just need to have some guidance, you know, where to put the passengers. So basically, you know, all the seats and stuff, it's all um, merged in this uh, mesh here. So that's just for reference, basically, right? Because at the end of the day, what we'll do is we will just merge this model here with, um, with our models, right? So we get one model at the end of the day, one GLTF file, cabin interior GLTF. And then we'll have everything combined. So that's basically the idea. So I'm just using that here for reference. And to actually combine all those things, we'll use a script like um, yeah, same procedure I mentioned in my previous tutorial on YouTube regarding yeah, adding 
objects to existing MSFS aircraft. All right, so I like to use the CJ4 because it's actually my favorite aircraft at the moment. So um, that's why we're using that. And that's actually the only one I've um, messed with so far here with um, upgrading stuff and whatever and modeling stuff. So as you can see here for now in this particular blend of file, what I did here is I just, yeah, use this here for my, um, for my passengers. So uh, we have the models itself themselves and we have here also champagne glasses for each, for each grill, for each passenger, right? And um, yeah, so my idea was now to do some more upgrades to the cabin though. And <clears throat> actually my idea was to be honest to um to maybe model a a tray table here. So in the aircraft, in the real aircraft, right? I believe you could lift this lid here and then you could extend a table from there. So we could maybe try to mess with that. However, I'm not hundred percent sure. I guess this might cause some issues here. Um, I still have the feeling that those seats are a bit too large compared to the cabin and whatnot. So I'm not really sure though. Um, <clears throat> and or maybe it's just the model here of my passengers that caused some issues here as well. I'm not really sure though. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard, right? It's a pretty tight space in here as well to actually put in a passenger um in a good way so also here in the back well here in the back maybe it's not that much of a deal here though however like the grills are model right it's um it's kind of hard to extend here a, a tray table to be fair so i think that's gonna be a challenge though that's gonna be a challenge right so here it's definitely not working so we can skip it here um unless we rearrange some stuff but um yeah i think the pose the pose of the passengers that might lead to some issues here though to extend a tray table that is a bit of a sad story though um hmm. Just thinking what we could do here though. We could, however. So, um, if we maybe switch seats here, so we move maybe this grill here over there, and we move this grill over there to this seat, then we might have some space here to extend the tray table though. This could work. Could try that for sure. Let me just see if I have a uh, backup of that file. Just that I have something uh, to start messing with it now. So just to make sure that I don't screw up here and get shebated. Backup, let me see though. Cabin Woozle Chat. That is not the one I was looking for though. Passengers. Yep, okay, I backed that up though earlier. Okay, that's good. Margo, hello. Good evening, good evening to you. New interior poggers. Yes, so um, my idea is to um, do some, some additional um, accessories here in the cabin, right? So my idea was to model a tray table. And. Um, just looking how this could be accomplished because you see the pose of the grill right the pose of the grill basically blocks a extension of a tray table here so maybe let's first do something here and take a look um in the interwebs how this is actually set up i think i looked for that earlier already cj4 tray table or maybe cj4 interior i think is better i found some um some good images that we could check out. There yeah, may be that one here though, right? 
They also have some fancy uh, screens here, whatever, in some aircraft. But as you can see here, right, it's a two... So I'm not sure how the folding mechanism works exactly, but I believe you could, yeah. You could fold that up somehow and then stow it here in this uh, compartment, right? That's not a CJ4. Here you can see it as well. I think that's one here though. Yeah, here you can see it maybe a bit better. Yeah, it's just extending here from this um, this edge here basically, right? Coming out here. And then you can... Oh, look at that. That's actually a freaking, a freaking whiskey going. Maybe. So yeah, so you could fold it here, and um, well, you see, from a, a alignment point of view, right? Um, considering the seat positioning, so it's pretty much here, a little bit to that side, and here barely, barely touching this this thingy here. So I'm actually not a hundred percent sure. Oh, look at that. There we have the bar. We could also... Ah, I think you cannot open that, right? Would be great to open that as well. So we could model some glasses and stuff. It's not done in the sim, though, unfortunately. Replace the grills with piggies, so there will be space. Yeah, I also thought about that. We could maybe just leave two grills in, you know? Leave two grills here in the back seat. Let me just show you. Um, we could leave, you know, we have two grills here in the back, right? Two grills in the back. We could leave those two grills there. And then we could put some um, some other passengers in here, yeah. For example, like like the piggies. And I think it would be quite... Um, quite easy to get, um, to get a tray table going, though. Um... But you see, right? You see, I believe this seat is a little bit too much this way, right? Too much this way. <clears throat> so, um... I think that positioning is pretty fine, but... Yeah, the bad thing is, as mentioned, right? Those seats I cannot uh, modify. I cannot modify any um, stock interior. I can only add stuff at the moment. As per my workflow, so I can only add, can only add. So we have to deal with the space that we have, right? Have to deal with the space. But, um, or we could look for some new passengers as well. So it's really the question how we want to do that. Just go here once again. Still thinking how we could do this, maybe. Take a look here from the top. I don't think that works. Hmm. It might be still the same issue here as well, even though I could spin around the grill. I would still have that issue here. I could make the grill smaller though. <laughs> I could minimize the grill a little bit. Um, you know what, we could just try that. Whatever. Let me just... Oh my goodness, what is going on? This grill's origin is down there. Holy smokes. That is not good. Mmm... Cursor to active. Only macaronis, though. Let's pop in with this grill. Let me see here, though. Um... Cursor to select it. 
I could maybe make the origin, set origin to 3D cursor like so. And we could actually go ahead, rotate the grill 180 degrees like so. And then we could move the grill back here, first of all, over on this side. And then we could actually go ahead and make a tinier grill. Um, make the grill a little bit smaller, just a tad. Move it further a little bit. Yeah, and the grill is basically just sitting like so. Mm. Well, what we could actually do first, we could first sketch up a um, a potential tray table here, just to get get the size right. So here I have my grills. Here I have my accessories. So um, let's first sketch up some stuff. So there's a cube. Scale that in the Y roughly where we need it to be where is it though it's just this edge here right so that's actually not too bad it's almost like in the pick scale y just to see where things can go right Let me just check here maybe the pics again. Reference pictures of the actual tray table. So how's the weekend, Margo? How's, uh, how's Saturday? Am I too loud on the mic? Maybe I have to move a little bit away from the mic and don't uh, blast your ears here. Oops, that was the wrong one though. That's bad, man. Wanted to have that one here. Let's go back, take another look here. I think it just comes out here. And then we have this little bend. Well, that's some details right there, right? So. Weekend is going well so far. Just had to do some things around the house. Not too loud on the mic. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Thanks for all the feedbacks. And, um, oops, let me move in again. Let me move in here. All right. So then let's see. Let's make this nice and uh, nice and aligned here with that, oops, with that uh, seam here, basically, right? I think it's not too. Not too shabby. I think that works to be fair. Scale Y. I think that's good. Yeah, it's also quite a <clears throat> um, a nasty day here in the Wusel land here in Germany. It's not that great. 
<clears throat> quite cold, wet, no snow anymore. So what we could do here, always like that in January, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, right? So how far does this table extend, actually? Does it extend to the... Yeah, it basically extends here to the... Um, you know, to this um, corridor. So that's good. It's good to be honest. Have to make that that bend, but we'll do that bend later. I just want to see how tiny the grill has to be to fit in here. You see, oh boy, excuse me. Um, I still believe the seats are too big in this plane. I think they are not modeled to IRL size. To be fair, I could be wrong, but it really looks like that. So, you know, the bottom part is way too big. I think it's way too big. Could be wrong, but I guess. Or my, my grill model is a little bit shabated, but yeah, not sure though. Not sure though, Margo. Not sure what to say. We could make a mega grill and let's see if that grill would fit. So if we made a, a mega grill, does, does not make sense either, right? Does it? That does not make sense either. Right? So I think the proportions of the grill are pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay. I don't think they are off. Yeah. So, um, I think the seat is too big, but anyway. Okay, how can we do that then now? Um, we could do a relaxed position with that grill though. Could just move her down a little bit more into the seat. You know that she's a little bit here. Yeah, that, that works maybe, right? That works. So we could say that the seat is really, really soft and comfy. So she's basically sinking into the whole thing. And actually, that works quite well here. Let me see, though. Um, so there's the... Um, so there's the limit, actually, right? There's the limit. Not touching uh, the tray table, basically, right? So, so we don't get any clipping going here. However, that's quite um, that's a quite comfy seat then. Um, how is it looking down here though? Okay, could make her a tad smaller, maybe. Could make her a tad smaller. That is not too bad. Okay, let me apply all transforms here. So that would kind of work, right? At least we don't have any clipping going now. So that is good. Different size people, holy smokes. Oh boy, oh boy. Is it even possible? We have some smaller grills and we have some bigger grills. In the cabin. I think it's possible though. I think it's good, right? Well, I think the size difference is not that crazy. I think it's still okay. Yeah, I think we can still, still deal with that, right? Can we? And then we have basically um, one grill here with a tray table. So that brings some variety to the cabin.
doesn't it, right? So that, that for a view, that for a view. Maybe we could spin this grill around now. Just depends if we want to have all them grills facing forward or if we, or if we want to have one grill face backwards. So then we could maybe change this grill around. So then we have, um, yeah, a little bit of, of priority there. So maybe we should do that, right? Maybe we should do that before we crack on with modeling and optimizing <clears throat> that tray table. So I would say let's also move um, her uh, champagne glass, shall we? Let's move that over here. Oh boy. Let me just look here. Those two I need to move, actually. Red. That one. Okay. Then I also need to make sure that rotate that back in place as best as possible, like so. So then she has her glass by her side. Maybe we should take the first cup holder, shall we? I think the first cup holder is better though. Maybe that's better. Alrighty then, save that. Okay, so. Then let's go ahead and select uh, this grill or let's also maybe start from there. First to select it. Let's maybe also first move her glass. Raise the glass. Shift the glass. So move that over there. Also say to the front cup holder. Just steer the rotation a little bit though. As best as possible. We don't get any clipping, so I think we're good on that. All right. Okay, well then let's uh, take our grill. I think also here the same issue, but we just need to move her, so that shouldn't be a problem, though. So let's rotate her Z axis 180 degrees. And let's see, though. That doesn't look too bad. Maybe we could make her a tad smaller as well. Let me just see though. Cursor to select it. Maybe we could realign here, make a new origin, origin to 3D cursor for that model. So then we can resize here a little bit better though. All right. Let's also make her a tad smaller though. Smaller grill. Just thinking, maybe. No, that, that does not really work though. I think we need that rotation a little bit more. To the side a bit in this nice relaxed position here though. <clears throat> Not sure if it looks good. 
over here. The head is a little bit, but I think that's still okay, right? That should be still okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Also the foot, right? That should be okay. It's just a little bit here. Yeah. That works. How does it look here? That's in the air there. That's all fine. I think that is all fine though, to be honest. Need to chop off them legs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or I need to, you know, modify something here. But um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard because those are static models, right? So if I start to mess with them, it's going to be really, really bad. And I have some weird stretching on the textures and whatnot. So um, I think we'll keep it as it is now. That's okay. Just need to check um, again the pose. I think that's good. That's good though. I think I'm okay with that. That works. Swiss Ness, hello dude. How's life? Welcome to the stream. All right, so then I think we have the grills aligned. So we have two of them a bit smaller grills here in the front, two of them bigger grills in the back in terms of height. And we have this grill here enjoying a, a tray table. Hell yeah. All right, so let's head back here real quick to the interwebs and we'll quickly check out this table once more. Find some better pictures of that. Let me maybe go back. Ah, this one I think we checked already. Let's see here though. Hello Woozle, you never gambling streams? No, not really, not really anymore, dude. Not really. I lost the interest, to be fair, in the whole gambling stuff online. Um, yeah, and uh, in general, I even don't know how the regulations are at the moment in Germany. There has also been some change to the whole thing. And also, um, since they removed PayPal and everything, it's getting really complicated to deposit and whatnot, right? So it's a bit of a hassle and everything. So yeah. I'm not interested anymore, to be honest. It was great in, in the days. Back in the days, it was really a blast, right? But now the Goomba, to be fair, mm, not really, not really up for it anymore, to be honest. So what about you? What about you? How have you been? Any Goomba for you, though? <clears throat> okay, so here... This might be something good. Actually, this looks a little bit more narrow here on the sides, right? Hmm. Let me just see here, just for reference. Yeah, here as well, right? Oh, well, it is, it is kinda, it is kinda. Let's just check once more. So the opening lid for the whole thing, right? This, this part here, 
Maybe a little bit further in, not much. A little bit further in. That's not everything she see G4 here though. Um there's also some uh, some official picks of course. So we could check them out. Of course we could also model some uh, charging ports, right? Oh look at that. Here you can actually see how this table is set up though. So it's a kind of leather surface here, whatever. Looks like leather though. Then we have some wooden parts there on the sides. Oh boy, here we go. Have the premium stitchings. Hell yeah. Explore 3D space. Okay, let's explore though. Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. Hell yeah, that's exactly what we need. Look at that. And explore the cabin though. That's exactly what we need though. We cannot... Can we unfold? It's cabin connectivity though. Ah, look at that. There are even some... Uh... Some stuff's mentioned here. So we have here some charging USB charging ports as well. Cannot cannot unfold a tray table though. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? But looks like they really 3D scanned this aircraft, which is cool. Ah, cabin comfort. Oh boy. It's a bit confusing now. Cabin comfort. Yeah, seats with ergonomic operation. Yeah. Cabin lighting on side walls, pocket floor and cup holders. Do they show the the table then? No. Oh boy. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Don't show it here either. So you have different setups in the aircraft as well, right? All the specifications and whatnot. Mm, okay, then we have to have to check the Googles again. This is the Googles. Ah, look at that. A chat bed. <laughs> that's also that's also fancy. Fucking hell, look at that. It's pure engineering uh perfection here. Look at that. Hell yeah. That would be something cool to have. <laughs> Did they inflate that part then? We could put that in Margo here. That kind of um, kind of bed uh, extension, whatever that is, bed module, right? And then we could put a sleeping piggy on that also. That would be some cool um, feature, to be fair, to have. You know, you just can um, can click on that to to. Uh... Yeah, that would be cool to have. Yeah, I need a new model for that, for sure. We can still look for a um, free-to-use um, person that we could put there, right? In a um, sleeping pose or something. And maybe even with a blanket on. That would be insane, right? So I have someone laying here 
<laughs> with a blanket on. But that's maybe a bigger, bigger project then. We could think about that uh, next. But let me maybe save that here. So the chat bed for the CJ4. Gonna save that for sure. Let me just go ahead here and... CJ4 a jet bed. That's interesting. So I'm saving that for later, maybe. Oh, look at that. So that's a kind of older version, I believe, of the aircraft. There are no headrests, as you can see on that one. It's not a CJ4. That's a 650, that's also not... Oh, that one is maybe a good picture though. Yeah, that one is not too bad. Need one from another angle maybe as well. Piggy with a sleeping mask on. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? That would be cool. Oh boy, taking ages. Um, let me just find some more, uh, some more reference picks. I think. Ah, I guess this one wasn't too bad. I think this one wasn't too bad here. Um, because here we also see this whatever that is, kind of strut below the first part of the table. So, um, that's CJ1. That actually looks quite cool. That kind of checkered design here. However, that's an old cabin though, for sure. Well, that's not a CJ4 either. <laughs> But yeah, that pick is not too bad. Um, let me just open that in a new tab. So we have that. And I think I had, where was the other pick that wasn't too bad? This one here, maybe. That's the M2, that's not. Had another pick here somewhere that wasn't too bad. We have that one here though, mm, from a different angle maybe. That one we could use. And maybe we could also use that one here. bit small, isn't it? Um, open the link a new tab, and yeah, that's a bit better. So what about you, Margo? Any anything special on this Saturday? Oh, you see, they also have some smaller tray tables there for the for the seats. In the in that configuration, I'm not sure if that's a CJ4. Then, anyway, we'll do the big tray table though. Oh, city skylines! Oh boy, no Kerbal, no Kerbal, Margo today. <laughs> Mr. Muffins would be hyped for the Kerbal. Oh, I think we need a Margo 2022 stream with the Kerbals. So Mr. Agoo can be pleased with some um, exploding Kerbals. Uh, 
Let me see. Usually it's just very seldom you find them, them small trade tables though. Okay, so could also maybe look for a table. Just the zoom here though. Completely shaded on the zoom now. Okay, there we go. That is also not a bad picture though. <clears throat> okay, so I think we are we are good on the picks. I think we have everything that we need. This one is pretty good. It's just a quick quick um look here again. But I think we are pretty much okay. Uh what we could do, cabin? Cabin top. Get a view from the top here, kinda. To see the shape of the table from above, but does not need to be necessarily. So I think we have a pretty good, good idea, I believe. Yeah. So it goes straight out here, and then we have that bend here, slight bend. Not too crazy, right? Just a little bit though. And maybe we have to do this, <clears throat> the separation here. And that pole we have down here though. So roughly that cut is in the middle of the seat, I would say. Maybe a little bit left. Roughly. Here it looks a little bit bigger though, to be honest. A little bit to the left here, maybe. We'll wait for Kerbal 2 now. Yeah. I'm completely out of the loop now in terms of uh, the current Kerbal. Not sure what the current version is and whatnot. No idea. Right, let's get back to, um, to the modeling. So, I would say, though, I would say... What are we doing here though? So I would say we'll go ahead and select that loop here. And then we could technically just do something like that. And then I would say, I would say, I would say, Let me just rename that to uh, tray table CJ4 accessories tray table WJ. Um, <clears throat> Mesh clean up. Uh, distance. Okay. So my idea would be to extend that here to here, first of all. Let's apply how transforms here, and then I would say, oh boy, this is not good. 
I need to be <clears throat> oops. Uh, we need to have a origin here somewhere. Like so. Set origin to 3D cursor. Here we go. Scale that one down just a tad. I think like so we're good. Lift that up a just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think that's okay. So like that we get no clipping or so. So that's good. Um, so I would say Let's get another loop in here. So now we have that, that split in there, right? That little split. Oh boy, Woosel Interior Designer Pro. Hell yeah, Margo, hell yeah. We'll just do it uh, quick and dirty, right? Just do it quick and dirty though. So. Let's see what we can do here. Now we need another loop cut here. Oh boy, this freaking shortcut. Let me just um, do something here though. It's a freaking shortcut that's driving me crazy. Let's see where that is. Uh, app settings. Why is this actually coming up all the time? There we go. Let me quickly check the reference pick again. It's a kind of it's a kind of more complex. Um, Kind of more complex thing, but are we okay with that? More? Maybe. 
Maybe like so. What do you think, Ma? What do you think? Hmm. Back to the IRL picks. Oh gosh, my goodness, the BRB. Let me get rid of the BRB as well. I'm such a noob streamer, right? Wanted to show you that. Yeah, you can see here, I think down there, I think it has a little bit of a. So, so it's a little bit. It's going flat here, right? It's going flat here. And also, it is a little bit... It has an edge here as well. It is a bit more complex, IRL. This whole thing. Yeah, you can see the reflection here, right? So there's a little... We could try to, to make that somehow. Um, could try our very best here, though. Let's just try and, and, and make a little bit nicer. Let me see. Let me clean up some stuff here, though. I think what we need as well. We could actually turn on the mirror mode. Let's first do that. Let's uh, turn on the mirroring. We need a mirroring, though. That's for sure. Um, let me just do that, so then it is easier to do things. Um, yep, I think that should be okay. No, that's not okay. Um... What the heck? Ah, that one maybe. Let's just um, clean up for vertices. I think that should do the job, shouldn't it? And maybe something we have to fix. Mesh. Distance. Okay, that's good. I think now we're good. Still some missing though. Um, that looks good, however. So maybe, yeah, then let's bridge that. Let's bridge that gap though, shall we? Either way, you have to clean that up though. by distance removed okay good so then what we could do now with a modifier we could do a mirror modifier and before we do that actually let me apply all transforms so then we could mirror that if we could
We don't need them. Okay, I think that should work then. Transforms, let's turn out a mirror modifier, and then. What the heck? Ah, it's down there actually. Um, okay, yeah, well then that does not work. I need to to mirror it then on the on the local local axis. Um I'm not sure, does that actually work? Let me see, is there an option for that? Not really sure. Vertex groups. Enable access mirror. Mirror object what if we take ourselves as mirror object it's a set value i think we cannot take ourselves here take that no that's not really work mm. well we could could do a trick here. Let's go ahead and cursor to select it. And then we could um, add a, um, a empty here. Empty plain axis mirror helper. Let's do that. And we could use that then. Go here back to the tray table. We select the mirror helper. And here we go. Hell yeah. A genius. A genius. <laughs> uh, prevent clipping. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. Genius woozle. Okay, so then, as you can see, Margo, now it's pretty pretty cool, right? Now I can modify just one side and it gets automatically transferred to the other side, right? So, what a genius, right? What a genius. Okay, um, so let's do some stuff here, I would say. We have to do some things here to clean up things. Um, we actually should we take the knife tool here. We could make it all the way across if we like. Or actually we don't really need to. I think what we could do is we could I could also just merge it across here, right? Well, hmm. Could run it across until here doesn't also make sense. Wanna keep the quads though. One, two, three. Let's maybe do something like that. Oh, 
One, two, three, four. Then we have that here. Now, so we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should be good. That should be good. So we do the same on the bottom here, just to clean up that mesh as best as possible. So go with a knife tool here. Make quads also from here back to this point. And that one here from here to here. Right. So then we have done that. So now we could go ahead and maybe, maybe what we should do, just get rid of the cabin for now. Also get rid of the other shenanigans, but um, anyway. Apply all transforms here. Okay, so what I think we should do Do a edge select here though. Um, Mm, not I want what I wanted to do here though. Scale that in here a little. Nah, doesn't work out. Um, let me see how we could do that though. I think we need a um, a proper point uh, where we can scale from. Maybe we need that cursor to select it over here, and then let's select those again. Um, scale, let me see. Three D cursor. That's more like it. That's more like it. Maybe we don't need to select that. No, maybe we need to. Otherwise, I think it's not going to work. Stretch that out later again. Like so, maybe.
And now we could go ahead and do some stuffs here. Just bring it back. Oh boy, that was of course wrong. Holy smokes. Getting completely shebated here. That's more like it, Margo. What do you think? Reality check. Reality check. Hell yeah, I would say, right? Hell yeah. Bit of a slope there, gentle slope. Maybe we could um, bevel those edges a little bit more to make it more... Do you see that little edge here? Just bevel that a little bit, make it glossy, right? Make it nice and smooth and glossy, all them gloss. Exactly, exactly. So we need to bevel the matches a little bit. And I think then we're golden. We're golden then. Save that for good. And... Maybe before we should uh, do the fine tuning, right? Maybe we should first... So I think maybe we could make that edge here. Even a little bit, you know, a little bit more. Prominent here, if we can. Oh boy. Uh, that does not really work. Mm, maybe we'll just leave it at that. I think that, that crease or whatever, that's okay. We can leave it at that. That's fine. Okay, so then I would say let's make that... Um, let's go down here and position ourselves maybe to here and then we could add a, a new mesh so we add a cube scale that down a little bit here and go about here move that here to the side a little bit though i think it needs to be a bit bigger we quickly check the reference pick once more. It's maybe as big as the um, sort of diameter, like um, like that, like the table itself. The thickness, I mean, thickness, thickness here, kind of the same. So it's not popping out though, that's for sure. It's not popping out though. Which is pretty much good here. So just a quick reality check once more. So it is kind of narrowing down here a little bit, right? It's really hard to see though. But for sure it's glossy. That's what we could say though. But it's right behind um, 
the edge here, right? So. It's right behind the edge. Maybe a little setback, just a little. Hmm. I have the feeling we have to move this here a little bit further to the right, to be fair. I'm gonna take a look at them picks. Bit, maybe, maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. So what we could do... Maybe like so, to be fair. Your B, right? Alrighty, right, sir. Okay. So let me go ahead and do some final touches here so let me maybe just go ahead and make that a bit larger here just a tad and then we'll go ahead and just move that out a little bit more oh boy I need a top view here though. Tier preview. I don't wanna stretch it too far out here though, to be fair. So I'm still having my doubts really about the scale here, about the correct, you know, um, about the correct alignment and whatnot regarding them seats and whatnot. So it feels still a little bit strange. If you wanna, if you ask me though, if you ask the woozle, right? However, we could just go ahead and we do our best of our abilities and just, you know, just do our thing, right? Do our thing here. Do our thing and make it like so. Yeah, maybe we should do it like so then. Do our thing.
yeah, let's leave it at that for now, I would say. And we'll just mess around here that later if we need to. So let's go back to a solid view here. And I think what we need to do though is to add select here and we'll go here and then we'll um, scale that on the X a little bit like so just a tad and we good shade smooth auto smooth is on Gotta keep an eye out right there. Okay, let's get rid of the cabin for now. Probably attach it to that here. As close as possible, no clipping though. All right. So we could actually parent that. Uh, or strut, table strut, strut, CJ for WJ, AAS. Ray table dot strut. There we have it. What the heck is that one then? Where's it to select it? Yeah. Oh boy, it's down there. That's a bit unfortunate. That is a bit unfortunate though. I thought I had the origin set already. Set 3D cursor, 3D cursor, there we have it. Okay, that's better. So now we have that stuff all aligned. And then I would say we don't cut that one in half. I think we just leave it. And um, yeah, we just bevel the matches here a little bit. Oops, bloody hell. Just very, very gently here. Real, real time check, real life check here in the <clears throat> in the pics. I think actually it's under there a bit more. 
think it's under there a bit more. Let's put that in a little bit. We could basically go ahead and bevel those edges as well. Okay, bevel those. So we have set that for the ship bait. For the win, maybe as well. Okay, so that's that. All right. Okay, so quick reality check here on our reference picks. So I think we have that um done and dusted pretty f fucking well i think that works to be fair i think that works that's okay i'm happy with that so now what we need to do we need to bring in that design right there right have to bring in that design right there. So let's head back to the blender. Let me bring back the cabin as well, just to see. I think we are good. I think we are really good. Yeah, I think we are golden on that. All right, let's get rid of that once more. So let me just quickly check again. So, um, so what we could do, select that, 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 and we duplicate those. And then we could go ahead. So we need there and we need to select that again. And then we need to do it in a 3D cursor though. It's maybe actually not too bad.
So we need to move that a tad. And also So to make that a little bit more, you know, so we should maybe separate that object to be fair as a kind of a top layer, to be honest. That was maybe not the best thing to do now. <laughs> that separate by selection Parent that. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. No, you just have to put the things on the table. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know it, Margo, you know it. Now we need to put them, you know, uh, to scale it down just a little more. Quick reality check again. Yeah, that's good. That edge here. Oh boy, for the wood effect, Margo. Holy smokes. That's gonna be a tricky one, though. The textures for that should be tricky, for sure. But we could... We could also keep it simple and just do the cheap version, right? <laughs> um, however, maybe we have to do the wood effect, right? Because the other stuff in the cabin is also the woody woody. The woody woodster. Yeah, I think we have to do the Woody Woodster. However, we could get away with yeah, a lot of high gloss, right? So we could as well... Uh, maybe we could find some good wooden texture like that. That would fit. Actually, we need to, to make it the same color like um, the other interior, right? Actually, yes. Anyway, we'll mess with that in a sec. 
just trying to see this top part though. If we are good on that. Or if we need to tune anything there. I think we are good on that though. I think we are good on that. I think we could leave it at that for now. And we'll just go ahead and bevel, bevel the matches here as well. Like we said before. Just bevel the matches. Right. Gentle bevel or a huge bevel. Smooth bevel. Maybe like so. Maybe that's okay, right? I think that should be okay, right? We don't need to go too crazy or shall we? Shall we go crazy here? Maybe we should do that then. Is that too much? I think we should be still good with that. Yeah, come on. We'll just keep it like that. Might be a bit much, but anyway. I think we good. I think we good. Okay. I think it fits pretty well now in the cabin. I think it's okay. Bring the grill back. That's one thing I didn't check now. Holy, look at that, Margo. Woo! Belly. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was precision there. Holy macaroni still. That was a close call there. Oh yeah, easy clearance, easy. <laughs> oh boy, okay, that's good. So, that actually works. That actually works. Okay, cool, good stuff. Um, so, well then, well then, well then, well then, well then, well then. So we got that set up though. Um, so now we could actually start texturing that thing, to be honest. Or is there anything missing in terms of modeling though, or that table though? Before we model the fruit, fruit bowl and everything. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good on that prototype then. I think it's pretty much a final thing, to be honest. I guess we did well. 
One more reality check here. I think we seriously did well. Look at that. Uh, for a comparison though. It's a little bit of a different design here, actually. You see, that top part is coming a little bit more in compared to that. But I think that's not here is also coming a little bit more in. But I think we are good. We could actually also do something like those here, those, um, those uh, TV screens or whatever, those here. It is just the angles. Yeah, I think we could we could do that here. That would be cool. Um, kind of in-flight entertainment for the grill spec there as well. We should also model some um, seat belts actually at some point. So, I'm wondering, how do you extend that tray table then? Do you just lift this lid here and then just pull it out? But it's a cockpit. There's nothing that we need to see here. Look at that, there's even a grill in here though. Hmm. No seatbelts are needed, wheels are so smooth. So I think there's no handle or so on that. On that lid to lift it or so. So I'm just wondering how that works then. Ah, there is one maybe. Oh, okay now. Maybe that here, maybe that's the lid. Or something. Oh, the handle, I mean. Maybe that's the handle. Kinda. This this thing here? <laughs> I have no idea. Mm. It looks suspicious, though. It's also on that right-hand side, then, here, right? Maybe you have to push that. I don't know. Uh... CJ4 table operation. Do we have videos maybe? No videos. You see this um, mounting point here, I think. This should then be for the screens. Actually, also nice animation here, right? Track the flight with that. So um, I believe those panels are also for the in-flight entertainment. We have them kind of modeled as well. But I think what I will do, I will just add another click spot here. I will add a, a click spot to um, to this lid here, and then we can click on it though, which will um, show and hide. So um, toggling visibility of our of our tray table then with that. We could do that, or we could bind our visibility of the tray table to you know a an existing switch that we have in the cockpit so maybe you know we could say if the seatbelt signs are on then there's no tray table 
to be seen in the cabin, right? Because then everyone has to be ready for landing or takeoff. That's when the seatbelt signs are on. And if seatbelt signs are off, then you know, in, like, like in the regular airplane, you're free to move around the cabin, you can extend your tray table and whatnot. So maybe we could use an existing switch. And don't need to use, don't need to implement a um, I don't need to add an additional uh, button here, actually. We could still add a button in addition, though, if we want to extend it manually, but I'm not sure if we really need it, though. I think I will, I will attach it to the... Let's try to attach it really to the fasten seatbelt um, sign. To the switch for now. I think that would make sense to be honest. Margo wants to animate the table raising. Oh boy, would be nice to see how it works, but I'm afraid we don't have any any reference, do we? Oops, what does Yautaub say? CJ4, oops, CJ4 table. Oh, the citation max. Or we could look for cabin. Let's see. Okay, th that's uh, skip ads. So that's directly from Cessna. So let's see. When they show the cabin. So there's the table. God damn it, look at them. Look at them. Here it's not, it's not, ex uh, um, it's uh, basically, um, yeah, retracted, right? And then in the next shot, they show it. They show it just uh, like that. They don't show it how it's done. What the heck? What is actually going on? Okay, there's a grill showing some stuff. Some special configurations here. Oh boy, look at that. Look at all that stuff here in the mini bar. Okay, wireless things. Power outlets, whatever. Okay, show me the table. Oh boy. They're showing that stuff. Not interested in, in that. Ah, you see, here is something that you could lift here. But that looks a little bit different to what we have. So this is the Gen 2 version, right? So um, I think we having the Gen 1. So it looks like, you know, they just pull here. But we don't have that, actually. We don't have it. So um, they might have changed that then. Or they did not model that in the actual aircraft. Maybe, you know, they... Microsoft did not model it properly. The lazy bastards. Okay, let's see. Yes, we recognize the aircraft interior. That's good. We have lights. We have... Oh! Oh! There it is! There it is. I think they're showing it. Yeah, lifting it up. Yep, so lifting it up here. Ah, bam. And bam. Okay. So that seems to be the mechanism then. So they're lifting that lid here, right? And then they unfolding it like so. Once more. Whoop. Ah, there you can also see this. Um... Yep, 
that that thing is actually flush with um ah and then you have the handle here to just pull it yeah okay 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 i now understand yeah it just pulls out you just pull pull out um here and then you have that um Yeah, this is the stuff we modeled, right? This 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 strut. I called it strut. That comes just um, there. And actually, this is as high as this one here to fit there into the whole, yeah, into, into the whole design, right? So this is basically part of that side thingy here. And then you can unfold that like so. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I understand now. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's close down Yao Taube. So, uh... Yeah, so... Actually, we cannot really... We cannot really do the same though, right? Because <clears throat> we have to lift this lid here and we cannot do that because this is part of the standard model, unfortunately, right? The screens are on arms, exactly, exactly. So, um, basically, we screwed. Basically, we screwed. So, um, yeah. Unless we just do the animation and don't worry about, you know, all that shenanigans right there. And it will just intersect with the existing mesh, which would, which would be not too much of wouldn't be too much of a problem right but, but still oh yeah they did not have the wood effect correct so maybe they they just used a i don't know different um a plane with a you know i don't know standard stock configuration not the high luxury fancy version. Could also be. So um maybe we could animate this as a later point in time. Maybe we just get it going now and just, you know, uh and just make it visible and hidden for now. It's really a shame, right? That we cannot um, modify the exterior model because we could well go ahead, right? And also animate. We could all do all that, but I'm not sure how, how I can bring this updated um, interior. So this, this cabin itself, how can I bring this back into the flight simulator without screwing it up? I think if I export it with, with my other stuff, I think we're we're shabated. Because it has animations to it and whatnot. I think it's not working though, unfortunately. So I would say I would say I think I will tune up some stuff here where the, where the thing comes out. And and I think we should be good. Think then we should be good. I'm just thinking, then we could also make it a bit larger, to be honest. A 
more transforms. Scale it. Okay, let me hide that here once again. Let me hide the grill here too. Oh, now that moved out of the way a little bit. Okay, I think we're good on that though. So maybe we could so from a height perspective, right? So from a diameter perspective, that's basically like that. Make it a bit bigger though. Make it a bit wider, I mean. Do we get a clearance issue now? Hell no. No clearance issues. So I'm not modeling um, those connection thingies here. We don't actually need to. Can charge your iPad. Feels bad, man. Margo feels bad, man. We need to add a um, a charging port for ya. Yeah. Need to do that. Need to do that, Margo. Need to add that for sure. Need to upgrade that for sure, though. Let me first of all scale that once more. Scale that. Save that. Do all that stuff. All right. So, well then, um, one more thing I wanted to do. Actually, let me go back here though. To the bottom though. Get rid of that grill though. So I wanted to do something. here and in the middle cursor to select it mm. I want to do a little handle thingy So it just goes in like that. Mm, I think we need one more here though, two more.
Yeah. Yeah, we need something like that. Yep. Yep. That's good. That's good. Me likey, me likey. No one does uh, see that, but but I like it. Okay, okay. So maybe we should tune then. Shall we tune this edge then a little bit more here? Shall we maybe do that? Just a little more though. Now the whistle knows how it works, he's flying. Oh boy. I think we need to bevel those edges as well, right? Bevel. What about that, Margo? No sharp edges, right, we said? No sharp edges whatsoever. Good. Anything we should improve, Margot? Marco quality control. I think we are good for now. Fucking smooth, fucking smooth indeed. As real as it gets almost. As real as we can do. So to get a better idea how it looks at the end of the day, we could apply some textures now to that table. Right? So um, we get a better idea and stuff. So um, let me just see as we made that. Yeah, let me get rid of that here real quick. Just to see because now we actually have made that a bit smaller though. Gonna pull that back a little. Yeah, that's more like it. You know what texture is needed? Oh boy. Okay. Well, we'll see, Margo. We'll see. Actually, you know what? I could check the textures of the aircraft because that part and so, like, like we have that wood already, that wooden texture. So we could just use it, right? From the interior file, from the interior texture that's already available for the aircraft. So we could just use it. We could just sneak into the textures of the default interior and then grab it from there. Grab it and snag it. Right? Okay, let me apply all scale and all stuff. Rotation, location, location, rotation, scale, scale, rotation, location. Bring the grill back. Quick clearance check. Once more, oh boy, squeezing in there. So good. So good though. Okay, so that's that. Ah, oh, let me quickly. Some fresh air in here into the Woosel dungeon. 
Fresh into the Weasel Dungeon, here we go. Need it, uh, need it uh, sometimes, right? Okay. So how do we do this again with the textures? So we, we need to unwrap, that's clear. But first I think we need to... Actually, you know what? We could first do a quick and dirty paint job on that, right? We can totally paint chop. That's uh, what. What do we need to do as a woozle? Needed for clear thinking, indeed, indeed. Um, let me think as well, though. Can unwrap. Can use one material for that. Um, for the champagne glass and things. I think we need a new texture though. Or do we merge it? Do we merge it with that? I think in terms of materials. I think I used the... Okay, I'll use the glass effect for all those. Um, before I forget about it, let me apply the modifiers because we need to do that right um yeah I think we're good on that yeah we're okay Okay. So we could export that as a separate object, I would say. Because we need different textures for that. We cannot use the one for the grill. Yeah, we have to, to export that separately for sure. We have to export that separately though. Um, just, um, hmm. just thinking though, now we cannot merge it though with the other one. Yeah, we need, we need separate textures for that. Either way, I think that's easier though. Maybe we could make a bigger texture. So in case we have more stuff, we could just add it. To the cabin. I'm just thinking because I have another another blender file with uh, some woozle chat additions to it and it kind of is redundant with what I'm doing here but I had to do it in this file because I have the grills in here I need it for reference. So we need to export the grills as well to be honest. We need to export champagne and that stuff that's all one file then and if i go ahead now and you know consider this as a separate object then i'm basically breaking here with my um with my with my logic here of having two files you, you know what we could try i will save that and I will import that object into the other Blender file. I think I could do that. That should work. And then I will export the grills here again. I think that should work. Let's try that. I saved that now, right? Let's open up 
Blender once more. Let me see. Let me open my cabin woozle chat. You see, I, I did that stuff here, right? I did that stuff here. Right? And also that stuff down there. So, and also the, well, the whiskey glass for the play by picky, I also did in that one here, though. So, um, maybe it's better to do here because it's specifically Woozle Chat, right? I did that here, right? So, maybe it's a better idea to include it in that file. Woozle by. Woozle breaking the rules. I'm getting back on, on the good boy track now. To make it more consistent, right? Hmm. So, uh, there's my cabin, there's my info panel, here I have my whiskey glass, there's the logo, that's just plain black text here though, info panel, I have a texture for that, for the info panel as well. I think it's not even making a difference, to be honest, at the end of the day. But I think it's it fits better here, because this is the, def the, the, the extended version, right? This is the extended Woozle Chat cabin. Everything Woozle Chat specific should go in here. And in my other file, I have my passenger grills and the champagne. That's okay. That fits to the passenger grills. But I think nothing more. So everything else that's part of the cabin, part of cabin upgrades, should actually go here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So let's try that. Let's go to file and append the object we created in the other file. So we'll go ahead and let me see though let me see though uh collection no need that object Bam. Bam, Margo. So we have it in here. That's good. So saving that over here. And so I made a I made a sub collection for that. So let's go ahead. And make a new collection and call that tray table. And for now, we'll just add this stuff here. Add that and that, and we move that to here. So sometimes we should clean up the mess. Okay, so then I can hide the whole thing as we should. And we have all that stuff in here. We can expand and do that. Okay, save that. So we'll continue here, but let me go back into the other file. 
And let me clean up the pack grills here. So let me just go ahead and get rid of that shenanigans now. Delete. All right, so now we have just the grills again. So here we have just the grills now with the champagne. And that should be golden. So we should now. So if we export all now. No, we can't, right? We will select, select the objects from here. Yeah, select objects, select objects. There we have it. So let's first do that export. Ah, shit. I need to export them independently, my bad. Uh, what a shebate. What a shebate. So what did I change, though? I changed the red hat grill, right? I changed the red hat grill. And I changed the blonde grill. So we export red hat and blonde grill then. So let's go ahead and select blonde grill. Blonde and blonde grill. So export that to the blonde grill. Include selected objects, export that. And then we want to export red hat grill. This one here, red, red hat grill. Export that red hat grill. Remember, exclude, include. There we go. Okay. So that's done. And let me see here. Source files, passengers, texture export, champagne for the grills. I have champagne there assigned. No way. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Good. So let me just find my files here for the blonde grill. Blonde grill. Don't see anything at the moment, so sorry for that. Oh shit. Need to change up the names here. Cancel. Um I just need to check the files here. That's a bit of a shebate. That was one of my first things I did for the aircraft. And need to check here the, the file names for the uh, for the grills. That's the blonde grill and that's the redhead grill. That's the normal file here. Oh shit. There we go. That one here. Businesswoman blonde 
save that down here. And then for the other grill. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. Misclick, misclick. Whistle getting shebated hard. It's nothing new, Margo, right? It's nothing new. Always getting shebated. Shebated hard as always. IRL. It's always the same. IRL or Indian webs. Always getting shebated. Okay, so that's done. I, I believe we did well. So let's go ahead and copy those. Copy those over. Copy, copy. Oh, I think we don't need to copy actually. We don't need to copy. We have it already. We have it ready. We have it already ready. Okay, so then that's it's all set up here. So um, I think we're good on that file then. Mm. So I can merge that later then. Let me just one more time double check if we have the champagne glass in. Champagne glass. Okay, we have it in. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay, just wanted to double check. Okay, so then we have it done. We have it done indeed. So that file is good. So we save that down and close Blender once more. Open it up and we open up our other file here, which is the cabin where we just added that stuff here. That, that nice stuff, that nice stuff indeed. So next up though, next up is Next up is texturing, I believe. So as we have separate objects here, actually for those I don't have textures assigned. I think I use the glass texture for all those, right? Well, this one may be standard, uh, just a standard color, just flat color there. So what we'll do then is we need first of all a texture for that. Uh, a material actually. Need a new material. Let me see how have I done it here. Cabin info panel I called that. Cabin tray and table. And we'll use Microsoft Standard. And let me check this shading here. Yep. And we will go ahead and uh, where is it? Texture space no. Normals no. Preview. Uh, I always forget where to add that. UV maps. No. No, 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 no. Ah, here. Base color. I think here it is. Im image texture. Yeah, and then we can create a new texture though. CJ4 cabin, cabin, whistle chat, tray table. I think we make that 24, 2048, 2048. 
this should be fine. So we could also um, add some more stuff to that. So if we decide to add a, um, a fruit bowl or something like that, I think that space is still fine. That's the space should be good. Okay, we press OK here. So then we have a blank. Um, basically a, a, a basic texture now. So which is black at the moment. But that is fine. So um, that's for the general setup. And let's do the same actually here. And let me see cabin tray table. We just use the same material here. And then I believe we are golden. And to have a um, an idea how that could look like, let's go here to the painting mode. And where is my thingy now gone? Uh, hello? What the hell? Object mode, texture paint, it's, it's gone. Ah, it's over there. Okay, now. Crazy Shabait. Okay, here we have our texture now on the left hand side, so we can do a, a basic paint job. However, before we should do that, before we do that, I mean we should first do a UV unwrap, right? First do a UV unwrap, otherwise it's getting completely snatched, snatched all the way. Okay, so we can do actually a um, projection here. So I would say we select that and then we say U for unwrap. And we say here project from view and like that you see we have it here. So we can scale that down a bit. And I would say we put it somewhere here in the corner or so or maybe maybe here. It does not need much much space or so. I think we're good. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. Okay, for for that stuff down here, maybe we should continue with that one here though. I think we can make one seam here all the way across. Maybe that's already fine. Maybe that is okay. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. Maybe do that as well. It is a bit stretched, but I think it's not too bad. I think it's not too bad. Hmm. So those are pretty small, to be fair. Well, I think they should be fine. I think that's better.
clear that. We'll select that here, Maxim. And then we get rid of those. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, that looks better. That looks a little bit clearer. We could also strip out those here if we like. It's not a crazy stretch, but... Um... Could actually do it. Like we had before. First we have that bevel. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a uh, fiddly, fiddly fit, but um, I think it's cleaner then. I think it's cleaner then. That should be good. Mark seam there, do the same over there. Make this a little bit easier to handle. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That that's looking good. That is indeed looking good. All right. So we could also, you know, just move that out of the way for now. And then we should concentrate now on the main part. Hide that. Let's maybe also hide that for now. And see how we get on with that shebate. Maybe what I completely forgot to do is to recalculate the normals. I think we are looking good on that one though. Let me also do that here real quick. Never know. Never know what's gonna happen. Also that one here, mesh, normals, recalculate outside. I think we should be still good. Let's maybe just hide all that, hide that, and hide that. Okay. So how do we get on here with that stuff? Um, so I think the bottom part is not the most important thing. So what we could do though is, let me see here. Let's get rid of those normal things here. We could make a seam actually, actually here. Make a seam here. That would make sense, I would say. All right. So let's mark that as a seam. Let's also mark that as a seam. Oops, and all, also that. We actually have, let's see here. Oh boy. Did that merch go rip? That looks a bit strange to be honest. Maybe that's because of the bevel though. 
Are those things across here? Which is a bit bad. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Mago, are we doomed? The fuck? Um... Those are going across, don't they? Um, let me see though. What is going on with that? Was that fine then? I think that's the same issue there. Yeah, that's going all the way across here. That should not be like that. Um, let me see if I mark those and then I say merge, merge at center. I think that works. Let me see if that works. Merge, merge at center. I think we can get on with that. Or no. No, 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 no. I need to do them individually though. Fucking hell. That's some work. I think we have to do it though. <clears throat> Merge at center. Yeah, I think like that we can get rid of it. A bit tedious though. Maybe there was a little overlap there. For applied the um, modifier, then maybe there was a little overlap. Okay, do we need to do something here? Yeah, I think we need to do it all the way. No big deal, no big deal. I think we can do it. Okay, I did not mess up thing. Nope. Such a clean mesh and then this mess comes up. Right? That's what you get. That's what you get at the end of the day. Okay. That and that, merge at center, and then we'll also get rid of them. Duplicates and whatnot. I think there shouldn't be any duplicates left now, hopefully, but. Let's double check that in a sec. Never know. Center at center. Merge that, merge that. Never easy. But it's nice at the end of the day when things come together, right? Then it's really, really cool. See the final product at the end of the day, right? Okay, so that's fixed. So let's go ahead and say mesh. Merge by distance. Yes, nothing left. Okay, good.
save that so we come back to our modeling now again so um, sorry texture back in uv uv mapping okay uv mapping we want to do that correct correct want to do that okay so now then now then i think we are golden aren't we yes i think we could i think we good yeah Okay, so what we did, we marked all the lower part here, lower parts of that. We also marked the upper edge. So we'll get one separation here, one separation there. And then we get all this part up here. Um, question is, do we get any stretcherino going? Maybe what we should do though, we should make this this uh, thing here in the middle. We should make that separate, right? We should make that. Oops. We should make that separate for sure. Because that one needs to be, uh, yeah, dark, right? It needs to be dark. from a texture point of view. Yeah, I think that's good. All we make it here. So if we make that dark, yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Okay, so let's save that. Let's see how it turns out, shall we? Let's maybe before we do that, let's quickly apply the scale. I think it's still there, but who knows? Okay, how does it look though? Not too shabby, not too shabby. We have a little bit of stretching going on here, not too bad. We have, let's see though. So that's the part here in the seam. What in the actual? Okay, that's that's the back part here. And then we have that, not too much stretching going on. I think we're golden, Margo. Margo, I think we're golden. That looks good. I'm happy with that, to be fair. Move that out of the way. And then we have that. And we have that. What's left? What's left to consider here? So we have that done here, though. Let me also unwrap that one more time. I applied the scale for that one though. Projection here, I wanted to do. That was a correct aspect. Camera bounce. Is it actually getting bigger when I get closer though? I never tried that. Oh boy, it really is. Okay, now. Okay, so then we have to deal with that, um, with the other stuff. All right. Okay, now we have our stuff here, our things. And let's make that, let me see though. Get a few for it. I think that's about right. Okay, so we have one texture with our different elements on it. And we could then go ahead and just align them here on the grid for now. However, I think we need to scale scale that all down. What is that? What the fuck is that? 
Holy smokes! Where is this coming from, though? It's not from that. Not from that. Is it from that one here? No? Where the heck did this come from, then? Okay, now it's gone. Where the hell was that from? Yeah, it's not there anymore. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I have to chill out here. Okay, so let's make that a little bit smaller, maybe, like so. About that size, should be about right. There, we are good on that. We're struggling here to get things in, though. So, uh, we should go ahead, maybe, and scale that part down as best as possible. What we could do, though, save some space, put that up here. That looks like that looks like okay to me. Um, then we still have some space around here for some other, you know, um, things. Like uh, that's a bit that's a bit too close there, if you ask me, though. That's a little bit too close. Drag it across your bit. Well, we have a little gap there, right? It's uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much there. Uh, it's a bit chibated. Move it just a little apart here. Don't want to have it too close to each other, right? Uh, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so we have some spacing there. Maybe I forgot to set the margin, to be fair. That was maybe shebated by me. Here we have a margin, though. That looks not too bad. That is okay, I would say. That's not too bad. Okay. Shabate it again. Shabate it again. Here we have one. Okay, I think that's good now. I think we are good. Yeah. Save it. And we'll also save the image later. So let's go ahead and try to paint on one of those. So I would say let's first paint that. So let's go to texture paint. As you can see, you can't see you can't see anything. 
Um. Ah, uh, is it that that uh, weird? Oh no, it's that here. It's good. Texture. Yeah, there we go. There we go, though. Ooh. So we could also find a texture to paint on that. So a kind of, you know, um, leather, leather texture, whatever. Could search in the interwebs to find one with a kind of leather structure there. So um, let's maybe try that quickly, see if we can find a good one. So where I like to go is textures.com. I'm not logged in here on this. Um, then let me quickly check. I think I'm, I'm logged in in the other browser, am I? I think it was textures.com. Let me check. Blender modeling. Okay, then I need to quickly check my password. It's weird. Yeah, I think it was that side actually. But I'm not logged in here. Fuck's sake. Ah, okay. I'm logged in in my other browser. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me just show you here and then I'll download on the other one. So that is, that might be the right one there. This one or, the, or this one here. I think this one is pretty, pretty darn good. This is also seamless texture. So um, I believe this one is the one to go for. I think this one is the one to go for, to be honest. We have normals, we have everything. Let's see. Download and we go to our model here to the cabin. Cabin, cabin, cabin. Save, hide map, save that as well. Normal map, save that as well. And roughness map, save that as well. So we have all of that done and dusted here. And we can close down that now. Okay, so. We could actually go ahead now and just apply a seamless texture to it. Um, whoops. So we could technically do that, or we could just use a stencil and smash it on. Let's see how that comes. I, I think you cannot, um, yeah, I guess you cannot do it with the normal maps. I think that does not work. Um, so I think we have to export it to, uh, to GIMP, and then we can assign the correct, you know, textures to it there 
But for now, we just keep it at that. So we have an indicator where things are. However, what we also could do, we could export the... Um, what would be actually a better way how to do it, right? We save that. And yeah, we save it, right? And we would export, let's see here, where is it though? Um, it's the paint, UV editing, I wanted to go. You could now go ahead, UV, and then export UV layout, right? Tray table, yeah. Export. And UV layout. Let me quickly see how that turned out then. Um, oh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. My bad. Need to select everything first, of course, like so. And then we have everything up here and then export UV layout. Yeah, there we go. That should be it. Yeah. But I just noticed. Just noticed that we need to clean up here our mess as well. Right? We need to clean it up here as well. So let's go ahead and merge at center here as well. And then we need to unwrap that whole stuff again. Okay. Yep. That is good. Let's put it the same size here as we just um, did it earlier. Round about there, and then let's head to the uh, to the texture paint, and let's quickly do that again here. I'll make it bigger actually, and then just double check with the other things. The editing, let's go ahead. Yeah, that looks good now. Select all those three. Like so. And we are looking good. Save that. And we will again uh, save. Yeah, of course. Of course we'll save. Sure, we'll save. And then we'll export the UV layout again to here. So then we can open it up in GIMP and then do our stuff. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's good. So we did that. So UV is done. So yeah, for, for, for uh, let's say reference at the moment, we could just go ahead here in the texture paint mode and just, you know, paint a little bit 
of them color on here. That color, get a basic idea how it could look like in the end, right? And just here some color to that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Good stuff. And for the for the other thing, yeah, well, that's that's dark and object mode, extra paint. Missing materials texture detected. What? Got to assign here texture to that. My bad. Oh, I did. I really did. Feels bad, man. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that. So if you want to, we could maybe do a tricky trickster. Well, let me see here, though. Tricky trickster. I have to check the wooden uh, texture of the um, of the interior of the aircraft, right? And then I think we could more like figure out what's going on and maybe use some of those. Or we would just make a similar uh, texture. And yeah, just do it like that. I'm not sure yet. Actually, we just need some glossy stuff. So I think we don't need any any serious depth to the whole thing. So uh, just need glossy shebait, to be honest. Can we maybe try that? How that would look? Right, if we go ahead and let's say, you know, uh, object mode, texture paint. Let's see if we make a new brush, right? I'm not sure if there's actually any hide information. Any, I think that's pretty much. Kind of gray texture though. Okay, so it gets. Um... Yeah, that does not make sense then. Because we get the um, the structure of the letter with uh, some other uh, maps, right? With the height map, with the normal map, and the roughness map. So we will texture those later, I would say. Yeah. Okay. So then I would say let's take a quick look at what we got. Oh shit, what is going on? <clears throat> what do we have so far, right? So we don't have um, the textures of the um, interior of the seats and so on. But this is basically how our table looks like right now. So not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. It's OK. It's OK, I would say. So we can for sure carry, carry on with that one next time. And um, yeah, also import it into the simulator then. And look for that wooden style here as well. And I think we're getting there. Flying in style with Wuzle Amago, you you know it, you know it. As always, as always. Okie dokie, so I think that's it for today for me. So I'll be back tomorrow, maybe. Let's see how things go. So appreciate it, Margo. Thanks for stopping by. As always, have a good rest of your Saturday evening. And um, I will see you then for the next one. Maybe tomorrow. And then we can crack on with the next stuff. Okay, okay.
So I might upload that stream to YouTube as well, as mentioned in the beginning. So once again, if you're watching this on Yotope, hello Yotope. Cheers, cheers. I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Happy modeling. Who's loud? Bye bye. Cheers, cheers.